Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family as always. Thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you you is you getting to know me and if you feel like the videos just give you a good vibe you know that you would share with someone else to get the same please go ahead and do that it's greatly appreciated oh lord i must be on the right subject today because as soon as i got ready to start i said okay i'm gonna do this video all of a sudden my nose just start tingling so oh uh, thank you because <laughs> like anytime you're about to start talking about something the tip of your nose starting to itch that's like god's promise of a blessing is giving a gift to you um let me turn that down. Uh, the video I'm about to do right now is Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, normalizing making moves instead of the same old tired mistakes. It is. You know, a lot of times it's just like when we go through stuff, it's like how many times I'm going to have to keep going through this? And it's just like how many times it's going to get you to know to learn the lesson that you're trying to be taught through that situation. And, you know, and a lot of times it's just like you have, you know, how you had to keep doing things over and over and over again until you learn how to do it, you know without any issues and that's what it is in life you know what we're doing like if you sit up here and you are happy about something you were about to do it was like a big project that you know you could have been made money off of it could have got real big and then it's showing you hey you know keep that to yourself and even it's like oh no you know the friends i'm gonna tell they ain't gonna do nothing you know out there i was always been happy for them and you know that i think they should be happy for me you have to i had to learn the hard way <laughs> not everybody that you you know that wants to, it, not everybody that's in your circle is not in your corner. You have to be able to understand that. Anytime you you know is this something that's going to take you to that next level, you have to be able to understand. There's certain things you got to move in silence. <laughs> Keep moving in silence because there's some kind of vibes that's going to be up here and it's going to flip that script and you're going to wonder why it's going to fall through. All of a sudden, you you don't have that interest anymore in trying to do that because somebody don't wish something on you. For them, like, oh, I hope that don't happen for them. Or, oh, God, I ain't gonna never hear the end of it. And it's gonna be a spotlight. You know, you never know what kind of vibrations somebody going through with your, you know, with your situation where you may be bringing something that is gonna really uplift your life in a certain way. And you should be happy about things like that when you when you got certain things in your life where you don't healed over something or you don't overcome something or one thing ended but it brought you something else more. You know you should be able to do that, but you gotta understand not everybody mind and everybody heart is not shaped like yours. It don't move like yours. It, ain't, it don't you know it don't think like yours. You know you just because you you know you you can get vibrations where you're encouraging somebody's like yes you know you deserve that you keep going. Or you even give an insight just to create something else more in that vibration. They don't mean that everybody going to be that way. And it will be certain things that you know you have to be able to keep to yourself until it gets to that point. Because I'll tell people, you know, hey, you know, you tell me, I'm, I'm going to, you know, if I know I can help, I'm bringing some insight to be able to help you see it from a different vibration because that's my purpose. You know, I do that. You know, I want to be able to see everybody that going to win, you know. But I tell people real quick, I want to see you happy, I want to see you win, but it's not going to be based off of my suffering. That's one thing I ain't going to sit up here and commend for anybody for. It. But you have to understand there will be certain things that you had to be able to do different you know because we normalize making mistakes all the time we know good and well what brought us into that drama in the first place and we will still think you know even if i still do the same thing it may not bring that drama that i had for the last five six times i went through it what makes you think this time ain't gonna be different and that's why the universe a lot of times we had to go through those recycling you know situations till you see you know the life lesson you know kind of remind me of when you know I'm a 77 baby you know they, we had those little shows those after school shows you know electric company fat Albert you know uh what was it uh reading rainbow electric company different stuff like that and they always have more of the story at the end you know and that's what life truly means to us where you can allow yourself to know that you need the, that kind of light shed it on you and it may hurt because you went through that. And they're telling you stop more normalizing the same mistakes you are to see what kind of tragedy is going to come up into it. If we keep telling you, hey, be quiet. You know, don't let the left hand know what the right hand doing. Because I know if I, I, I remember I put like a post out where it was something that I put out 
in a video and people are like Rosalind well, I'm just now learning this and it's a shame I said don't feel shameful for that because a lot of times we feel like if we open up our minds and we speak on certain things that has taken place in our life or what we're planning to do we may feel like somebody's going to have that support and vibe with us Cause, I mean there's actually some good people out in your life that wants to see you grow you know they get into your behind when they see that you slacking on your own growth you know, they want to see you happy. They want to add towards that happiness you got. But there's also a lot of people around us that are bitter betties that, you know, they're stuck in that sequence of fear and projection. And they'll do everything that they can to make sure that you stay in that vibration of where you're not having any good into your life. You know, or different things that you have in your life where... You know, if you you know if you don't have that love for yourself, you tend to you know gravitate towards people. They're in that same vibration, and they just keep things going and keep things going. And then when you start seeing, you know, these are things. It's like, oh, I didn't place love into myself, or you know, I didn't know myself on that different level. But then it's going to be into that point where you had to learn that. You had to be able to go through those things. Let's normalize and allowing ourselves to keep going towards every level. Don't allow certain situations to stop our flow. But just be able to appreciate making those moves to create better. Instead of allowing ourselves to know where the universe is just telling you, aren't you tired of playing the same? You already know how this is going to end. That's just like you keep watching the same movie over and over again. You already know who the villain is. You already know how that, that, that plot twist of it cliffhanger gonna stop you already know this why don't you pick a new movie <laughs> why don't you do that matter of fact pick a new you don't been on the suspense thriller all the time why don't you get to a comedy you need to laugh you know because this right here gonna make you go crazy you know and it'll just be like you know you're going through those different things and then these are the things that you had to go through like you normalize you you've seen what moves you made that kept you in that that low vibration you see the company that you kept kept you in a situation where you you wonder why things ain't never prospered for you and all that and it's just like a lot of times we get mad like why do i have to keep going through these things you're gonna keep going through these things until you learn the next lessons of these things but these are the reason why i brought this to you you know, if people want to say, oh, you got this going on, you know, because a lot of times people will throw a bone just to go carry one. And you're like, what you mean by that? When people come up, you know, it's just like you, you, you know, y'all were laughing at me one time when you were like, Rosa, no, you didn't do that. But it's true. You can be sitting at work and y'all all, all out here for a break and you a new person, You've only been there probably a few days or even a week or two. And there was one little Betty. It's like desperate housewife. Like she can tell you everything that's going on on the corner. I'm in the south, so they stay corner. You know, all up in the corner, in the hood, what's going on. But they don't tell you nothing about who's going in their house, but they can tell you everything about somebody else's house. It's like, hey, so how long you been here? You got any children? You married? You just, hell no, you just don't sit up here and spill the beans on everybody's life. Like you got surveillance cameras in every daggone thing. You expect me to tell you what's going on in my life? No. You know, you got to get up from a table where they everybody out about to be the subject. And as soon as you leave, you about to be the subject. And that's where you had to learn from. You know, people love when you spill beans about yourself. You know, I, you know, it, it just be certain things where I had to learn just from here, not certain things to sit up here and talk about. But I appreciate it. I had to go through that. You know, you're going through those changes where you can see the decisions I made had me have a whole setback. But when I start making them real killer moves... You know, that don't catapult me in a whole new different way, you know, or just how I had to allow myself to be very selective about the words that I place upon myself, you know, not saying something in a, in a vibration of a narrative or speaking negative of myself, not placing judgment on other people's like they place judgment on me, being able to understand why people are like that, but you still allowing yourself to, oh, okay, that they got that going on. Okay. Ain't got nothing to do with me. Just in them, you know, healing ways. You seen how, you know, just for example, you seen how somebody wished something on you and you wish something even worse on them. And it shows you don't do that. Because what you wish on other people that come right back on you, you're going to live what you just spilled out on somebody else's path. you you about to live that because you wanted that so bad to happen. You know, I used to do stuff like that. You know, I used to be able to tell people, especially if I seen karma hit them in the worst kind of way. I said, no, you know, God really was trying to bless me. That shit would have been a lot worse. You know, and I'm like, oh, that was just petty. He needed to add it more to that weight of what you done did that you brought towards my life. Now it's like at that point, you're like, you going to laugh? Uh-uh. You ain't gonna snicker, no. 
Let me go ahead and just pray for you. Because then you start noticing. When God tells you, don't wish what, what some, the enemy placed on you. Don't allow yourself to go towards that vibration of what you know what's living through that, what's growing through that. You allow yourself to, you know, they're going through a worse war than you are with going through. You know, just by the moves that they're making like that. You just wish blessings on people because they need that healing. We all need that healing on what's taking place. And this is how you grow. These are the things that you, you've gone through in life to help you grow. That was so distracting. But anyways, you go through those different things in your life where you can really just sit, you know, because there's times that I don't sit back in my life and just really analyze, you know, because with me, I got ADD and OCD with a side of PTSD. I got a whole bunch of that on acronyms I got going on where it makes me break things down to science and try to understand why did it go far left or this is the right game that I was playing. And then when you're allowing yourself to see where the change needs to take place at. This is where you really start making moves where you're allowing yourself to really appreciate everything you've gone through. Because it's like there's times where, I, where I've mentioned things and it was I placed a label of narrative on there. And I placed a narrative, you know, a, a place of positive on there. But when it gets towards that, that vibration where you're growing, you're healing, you're seeing things from a bigger perspective. They always tell you try, try to change the perspective of how you look at things. Because that's how you show where... Okay, it'll be like, for example, like, why do I have to keep going through this situation? Why does it feel like I make 10 steps forward and it's just one one vibration or one, one thought or one word takes me about 20 places back? And they're telling you, you, did you see this from a bigger perspective? Yes, it may have hit you negatively, but you see the lesson that you had to learn towards that situation that takes you to the next level. Because when you see the, the, the lesson, the subliminal and that that experience and you can be able to take from that in a positive you you can go so far with that where you know okay i can't do that no more i can't you know share my life like that i can't tell too much you know if it's meant for something to happen like that it ain't gonna be for my words or if i if i don't judge people i can understand because uh, you know when you judge people you're not understanding why they're like that even though you know, we have a bad habit of doing that. But when you're allowing yourself to be like, hey, let me change let me change how I'm, I'm going about that. I mean, not allow myself to judge, you know, because when I'm judging, I'm placing judgment on myself. You know, and you're doing that. You know, you wish bad, you're placing, you wishing bad on yourself. You know, you had to learn from those experiences. This is how you grow. This is how you go towards things. Even when somebody do evil to you. You know how you get, keep getting your blessings when you don't do exactly what's been done to you. That's how your blessings keep going. You still wish people well, even though they wish you hell. Okay, that's how you have to be able to do it. You'll be able to understand. So it's like when you get to that point where you're really growing and you're going towards that next level, you're not going to ever start seeing things as a negative and a positive. You're going to just see it as an experience. You know, you know it's like, but it was a negative situation, but you learned something, right? Yeah. You know, a lot of times we always want to stay in the light and we don't want to touch that dark. We want to ignore that because, no, that brings pain, that gives anger and no. But for you to be able to embrace that light, you have to love the dark because that dark done taught you so much about your light that's always been there. You know, it was like a, a trauma that you had to go through to where you felt like life, the life of light could not exist in a situation like the ones that you face. You know, or you feel like there's no love that can grow from a, a, a place of hate, anger, and it can. It's just all about how you choose to go about it. And that's why they always want you to be able to see things for what they truly are. You know, you, we go through so many different experiences in our lives where, you know, stop placing a narrative label on every little thing that comes at us, that attacks us, that it hurts us, that, you know, it does some, some kind of harm. But this was a reflection on an impact that can create strength. An impact that can create power of healing, you know, being able to place love into a hateful situation, you know, making you choose wisely, making you, you be very, um, be selective about how you say things, you know, being in a point of understanding instead of a point of judgment, you know, everybody don't move like you do. Everybody don't see like you do. There may have been a time where you were being very hard on yourself because you were projecting fear out on other people. You were going through a war and not realizing you already won when you were able to move on from that. You chose to stay there. 
because there was something you felt like that you needed from that situation that you were still stuck from there. So it's just a lot of times, you know, you have to really get to that vibe because we, we do negative talk at times. It happens. You know, we go through stuff and we just, you know, there'll be, I remember it was like, um, somebody had told me this one time a friend of mine told me that like when you can say something good and you add a butt to it it's like why you keep bringing the devil into that i'm like what <laughs> he was like because you're like oh i got this going on but this is it's like but you ain't just leaving it just saying oh i got this and this and that going on you ain't got to add the butt to it because the butt is where you know you're speaking god into your life and you sit up here you entertaining the devil's foolery and that's what you need to do and i was just like dad now i get to the point where i can understand what they were trying to teach me about that and i said thank you you know, a lot of times there's so many different things that teach you. You don't even realize that you learn from the hard times as well as the good times. Because you can't be able to enjoy the, the good times unless you face that hard times. You can come to that truth of that. You know, and it's all about, you know, how we can allow ourselves to keep reliving that trauma in our lives. Instead of saying, you know what, that was my breaking point. That was my, my crossroads. Where I can allow myself to keep going down that road, you know. You know, and that was supposed to be another <laughs> content. And I was like, you were like, no, don't use that because it's going to be a subject that you have. To, so I have to change that because it'd be like, so the spirit's like, mm -mm, don't do that. It's supposed to be a part of content, a different part of content of a video I'm about to do. But it's just like, you can allow yourself to keep speaking that same old dead language. Like, you know, Danny Lee, what is that? Uh, what, what, shoot, what is that that people don't use anymore? It's like, that's a dead language. It's like, so I, so, Siberia, whatever, whatever that I forgot what that, <laughs> what, what it is, but it's like a dead language. No, I don't use that anymore. And that, that's trying to say dead in that. This is where that crossroad for you to be able to say you don't sing the same tone that you used to. Just it's time for you to create a whole new song of experience. That's up to you to be able to do. You know, this has happened to you a lot for you to have that turning point in life. To where you don't have to use that same script that you had to be able to come on that next level of a play or a next level of a movie. You know, I had something like, you know, I really went through some really hard shit stuff that I, you know, that really made me a better person. Because a lot of times it's like tragedy really takes you towards something to the promised line, land of where you can have better opportunity just because of the fact is you don't face something that many people were scared to even touch. You, and a lot of times you have to remind yourself of that because when we go through there we, we, we pull this pity party with ourselves you know sometimes we can do that you know we, we play the victim role sometimes we can do that but you're like I am a victim of that yeah but why are you letting that define your life and I remember I used to get mad when I hear people like you using that victim mentality and it's not like damn I did go through this you know you don't know what I went through and it's like no we're not saying you didn't but why are you allowing what somebody else has done to you, what somebody else has placed in your life, what somebody try to dig into your brain to make you feel like this is what defines you? This does not define you. What has happened to you is that turning point to create better. For you to be able to use this situation and say not no more. Just because my life started like this don't mean it's going to keep on going like that. It's not going to be a repeat. You know, I'm going to create better from this. I want to be able to soar and be more transparent about what I went through, what I faced, what I overcome, what I conquered, and what I'm moving on to the next level. And then when allowing myself to be transparent, to be able to tell somebody, if I can do this, you can do this too. Don't mean that our life got to be moving back and forth with based on what took on to this. This took me to the next level. You know, be able to allow myself, like, my life ain't got to stay this way. I can create something that I never thought I can imagine be able to run with that and go on to the next level. Because if God be able to prepare me for this, there ain't no limit. You allow yourself to stop placing limits on yourself. And that's what universe is telling us. Because it's like when I get those visions of seeing us like you're in dread, you're in, you know, it, it, you're in this vibration of where it's bad. You know it's really bad in your life and that you keep replaying it over and over again to where you start believing this is a part of your destiny. It's going to stay this way. It's going to be like that. And then it's just like next thing you know you flip that script. You know you really flip the script on that. You don't have to stay this way. You're going to create better. You know these are the things you, you know you can live outside the box. This is just was your starting point. I use this for you to be able to show you know, because it's just like this is creating a barrier where we're eliminating limited beliefs. You know, not passing on what our families thought was right to pass on to us to be able to keep that going for the next generation. 
And, you know, being able to know what these situations was breaking us out of our toxic habits, our behaviors, our thoughts, you know, the way we move, the way we speak, the way we see not just ourselves, but other other people. We have to break. We have to normalize, not keep on with that repetitive mistake that we've gone through, but allow that to be an eye opener to be able to say never no more. You know, yes, things has happened to you. Yes, you, you have been hurt in a major way. But that is not a part of your description. <laughs> that is not how you're going to define yourself. It's like, yeah, I went through this, but, you know, that was also going to get jazzed. That was just a wake me up point. You at your wake me up point. That woke you up to say that I'm going to create something better in my life. Yeah, that's where it started off at, but that's not how my, my, my path of life is going to end at. I'm going to make bigger and better out of my life. Just because they said my life is this way, just because somebody said I want to make it out in life, just because somebody said there's nothing good going to come in my life, I want to have nothing to prove to you. You know, and that's how you're going to be. This is to prove to me. This is to prove the universe. Let my ancestors know I will not fail them. They picked me. They knew what I'm about. They knew it was going to get that kickstart. You know, you get that kickstart. It's like a, a, a wild hair is growing. And that mess finally got plucked. And you were like, uh-uh, no. And you became you, you became unstoppable with that. Because it's just like we're evolutionary. When, you, when you're when you like that, you done gone through the worst of the worst. And you didn't allow that to stop you. And that's what God want to keep reminding you. You're going to let this stop you. You're going to let that person or those people stop you. You're going to allow them to create saying this is going to be your destiny when I told you no it's not. This is going to be something way bigger. You know, they they may have knew that's why they kept on bringing those stop signs towards you. Or they don't put all these boulders in to make you, you know, try to pause, try to get you distracted. Try to make you second guess yourself. This is at the point of your destiny where you design it for you and mine. I have something created for you bigger. That's why I picked you. You know. I created you to do this because that's the reason why I placed you in that certain situation to begin with. Because I know you can create better from what that was placed on you. And that's why they're telling you, you know, normalize making big moves, big warrior moves. Instead of allowing yourself to go through those recycled situations that you already know how it's going to end. You already know how it's going to fall apart. And you already know how it's going to come together. You don't live there no more. That, that, that's a space that you ain't even needed in that vibration anymore. You already excelled that. So they're telling you, keep looking forward. Stop falling back. You ain't on the clock. <laughs> you are not. you springing forward. You ain't falling back. You are not time zones. And that's what they want to keep telling us. You are not a time zone. You keep springing forward. All those little situations you went through that broke your heart, had you pissed, had you all distracted, you gonna appreciate those things because you already know you 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 can already be able to tell what's an illusion, what's a distraction, and what's a fear move. You know, a lot of people will create fear on you to make you doubt your whole self. And when you know you ain't falling for that, you gonna create you you gonna be able to see it before it even come off. Or when it happens, you already gonna see what understand where that came from. And you're not going to allow yourself to take it personal. So that means you know. It was like, oh, did you observe that? Oh, yeah. Are you going to follow for it? Oh, no. But I'm glad that happened. I'm glad I noticed the change within myself because I didn't allow myself to take that personal. And you're going to see that. And that's the reason why things don't went on the way they went on with you. And as soon as I said that, it was like 23, 23. But you're going through these different things for you to erase any toxicity you have still in your vibration. These are the different things that's going on to where you allow yourself to know you are unlimited. You you can keep soaring as high as you want to. There ain't no dream that's big enough that you can't create for you that God already has in store for you. It's already yours. You're just getting in that alignment to receive that. You're clearing your vibration to receive that. And you're going to appreciate everything that you got to receive that. The highs, the lows, the yes and the no's. Goods and the bad, the happy and the sads. All those different things. You're going to appreciate everything. That you have faced in this life because it made you unstoppable. And you're going to show a lot of people. It's like, yeah, I've gone through this. You done gone through some stuff too. But you're going to allow what happened years ago. Or even at a present moment. You're going to allow that to stop you from creating better for your life. Or you're going to allow the devil to win like that. You're going to allow your, your enemies to win. Are you going to allow that? Because it's like, you know. The devil sees that potential in you that can't be touched. Your enemies see that potential in you that can't be touched. That's the reason why they mess with the mind. You try to create illusions within yourself that you can't be better. You know, nothing's nothing can stop you unless you allow it to. You know, if it's supposed to connect with you in that way, that means a lesson that had to be learned about that. 
and you're going to be able to appreciate all those things that you face. So I hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video, y'all. I would love to give a post notification shout out to Andrea Kelly. Much love to you. And Timberwolf and Authentically Speaking. Much love to you. If you're new to my channel, welcome. It's so good to have you. You know, please drop me a line. I would love to be able to get in touch. You know, be able to stay in touch with you. And you get to know me as much as I'm getting to know you. And, you know, this is all about spiritual networking. You know, um, there's a lot of things that we talk about. There's a lot of things that y'all share with me that you, you're trying to get the insight on that. Trying to understand why certain things like this happen. You know, and just the fact is I'm, I'm grateful just be able to be in your life and just be able to help you out to have a deeper understanding I try my best to be able to do that and whatever we speak on is confidential and i'll try my best to be able to help out where i can and i leave my link to my podcast as well from spotify and as well as if you feel like being generous enough to you know leave a donation cash app is there as well so i hope whatever you're trying to manifest into your life you know i hope i bring so many good vibes towards you that you know bigger and better is on its way to you it's going to be more than you expected that's the reason why it's going through like it is it's going through with you so stay persistent and consistent because you may be, you know the enemy might be telling you to give up today because your blessing may be here tomorrow so keep on going because it'll be around right around the corner when you least expect it even through social distancing make sure you give out love like positivity word wide frequencies you never know that can really take somebody a long way and just because you took that time to give out towards that person it's going to take you even further so you'll see me on my on my next video, have a blessed, safe weekend. Be responsible for everything you do. Peace.